one of the highlights of the Ford match saga between Dublin and Meath in the Leinster Football Championship of 1991 was this goal by Kevin Foley. It came very close to the end of the fourth game as Meath fought back to win. Vote for this by texting Moment 13 or phone us and key in 13. O'Malley, Lions calling for it, holding off the challenge there of Vinnie Murphy, two strong men in opposition. Nice pass played inside very quickly by Matty McCabe to Liam Harnan. They're trying to organise a late, late scoring opportunity. Need needing a goal to carry the match into extra time yet again. Beggy. It's still possible. Foley. Into Gillick. A lot of poor marking by Dublin. And it's Tommy Davis coming to run through the heart of Foley. I don't believe it. Foley has scored. The level. Well, we had that mini-series in 1991, Meath and Dublin. And this was the fourth game. And Meath produced a wonder goal scored by the most unlikely man on the field. It all started way back in their own back line. The play line, precision passing, good movement off the ball, crisscross over the field. And nobody went with Kevin Foley. He sneaked up on the right up into the square on the other side. And when the ball came to him, bang, back of the net. In the last five or ten minutes of the final game, we were never in a better position. In fact, I remember being taken off. I had pulled my ankle ligaments and going over to the sideline, sitting down. I remember Davy Foran saying to me, we have them. I think the goal, not, not my scoring of it, but the goal itself and the movement epitomised what Mead football was about at that time and that particular team and what they expected from us. And that was never to give in. It was like watching a, a slow car crash. You could just see that there was a goal going to be scored here. And if you could have called a timeout at that stage, you would have done it and say, lads, we're going to concede a goal. Matty McCabe passed me, and I knew there was a couple of minutes left because I saw the stewards going around. And I said to Matty, go forward. And he said, no, you go. And in hindsight, what Matty was doing was pulling probably Dublin's best defender, Mick Deegan, out of the way, taking him away from the goal area. Again, like in a dream, it came to me at, at the corner of the square. And I kicked it from five yards into an empty net. And that was only actually the equalising score of the game. It's actually the point by David Beggy after was that winner for me, but I think we had just got so wrecked with that goal. Foley, wonder goal. If you were to bet, you'd get a thousand to one that Kevin Foley would score. So you could say with Foley, he really was the gamekeeper turned poacher. Foley into Gillick. A lot of poor marking by Dublin. And it's Tommy Davis coming to run through the heart of Foley. I don't believe it. Foley has scored.